Hey, what's up everybody? How's everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. Uh, today we have ourselves a little Dominaria remastered collector booster box battle. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, how this works is we're going to open this up. Each of our four participants is going to get three collector packs. We're going to open those up and we're going to add up the mana values for the rares and the mythics. Uh, at the end of this thing, the person with the highest total mana value and the person with the lowest total mana value are each going to get one additional prize pack of Wilds of Eldraine, a collector booster pack. Uh, in the event of a tie, we will take the highest mana value Mythic as the first tiebreaker and the highest mana value Rare as the second tiebreaker. And if we needed some sort of third tiebreaker, we'll do some sort of, I don't know, piding contest or something. I don't know. Should be fun, though. Love me some Dominaria Remastered. Very, very excited. I'm going to throw these off to this side. Let's crack this thing open and uh, get to cracking some packs here. Uh, I love Dominaria Remastered. I'm a big fan of the Collector Booster Box um, product for this set. I think... I think the draft booster boxes are taking a little bit of heat, uh, but that's because, if we're being honest, they were overprinted. The fact that I know the product sold well really in initially, and yet the fact that there are so many that is still, there's hundreds and hundreds of boxes still on TCG kind of tells us what we need to know. Collector packs, I think are kind of a different story. They're well laid out, there's some really cool treatments, and we know there are some good cards in this set. I mean, plenty of good cards. A little top heavy, but can't argue with Sylvan Libraries and Demonic Tutors and Force of Wills, like, no one's going to be sad about that, right? All right, enough of this. We got a nice little shuffle. So three packs for Gremlin. Three packs for Unholy Ram. Three packs for Poe Monroe. And three packs for Soul Rena. Good luck, everybody. Thank you so much for your participation. As usual, I sincerely appreciate you guys. Uh, and uh, let's get started. All right, Gremlin, start us off. They are these packs. Haha. -ha. <clears throat> pull tabs. Used to hate pull tabs. Now I love them. And I'm like, when a pack doesn't have a pull tab, I'm super sad. Okay, here we go. St oh, all right. Little uh, gauntlet of power that is a borderless foil mythic. Beautiful. Love the foiling on that. So that is a five. All the good stuff's in the front of these packs, too. Double mythic. Here we go. It's time stretch. Holy moly, that is an, uh, a ten. That's a 10. I give it a 10. Um, that is a 10 and a borderless time search. So double mythic to start. Very nice. And some hefty mana value to go with. After that, exploration. Very, very nice. I rarely pull these, so uh, I know it's not for me, but I'll still take it. A really sweet pack overall so far. And we've got our pack foil oversold. Oh, oversold cemetery. Overprinted cemetery now because it's been reprinted so much. A little borderless Rada Air to Keld. Another Rada. Sure, why not? Sweet Mountain by John Avon, and our Commons and Uncommons. Well, Gremlin, heck of a first pack. And let me do some sleeving here real quick. Brought plenty of sleeves to the party. I'll at least do the Mythics. I'll get the rest of this stuff before I package it out. Let's add up some mana values. That, that uh, exploration is really nice as well. Okay, so 5, 15, 16, 17, 18. Good size mana value to start there for sure. Okay, uh, we do know that these packs tend to have a fair amount of duplication. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of what. So I'll be interested to see what sort of duplication we have. We always want to see tutors and things like that, right? That's the duplication we want to see. Another borderless foil mythic. Yeah. Oh, snap! Oh, 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 oh. Borderless Foil, Force of Will, congratulations, Ram. Holy moly, you know that's a beautiful card. I absolutely dig it. Very, very nice. Borderless Foil, Force of Will. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. All right, there's more cards in this pack, isn't there? Uh, Mystic Remora. Yeah, that's not bad either. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mystical Tutor in the retro frame, because why not? And it forgot an agent. It couldn't all be good, right? Like, it couldn't all be... Ooh, borderless uh, retro frame... Not borderless, but retro frame foil frantic search. That's not bad either. All right. I got some sleeving to do here real quick. Uh, great pack, Ram. Congrats. Holy moly. All right. So we have ourselves a 5. That is a 9, 10, and an 11 mana value. Win or lose, I'm going to say uh, Ram's feeling pretty good about things. Those are. That's an amazing pack overall. All right. Poe Monroe, you are up next. Report of the spoil, force of will. <laughs> All right, Elefante token. 
Oh, I saw the border. I was like, is that a force of will? Uh, you know what? Retro frame foil mystic tutor, mystical tutor is also not a bad place to be. That is gorgeous. I think, I don't think I've actually opened up one of the retro frame foils of this. That's really, really nice. This box is, no, let's just decimate. Eh, eh, eh. This box is still really good. And a retro frame birds, because that's awesome. And another oversold cemetery. So this is our first taste of a little bit of the uh, duplication factor. But nevertheless, ooh, nice. Deadwood tree folk in the retro frame foil uncommon. Uh, nevertheless, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Also kind of a low mana value pack overall. So we have ourselves a one, three. Now let's do this. One, two, three, four. And that is an eight in total for Poe. All right, Soul Arena. Let's keep the good stuff train coming, right? Let's keep it rolling. Here we go. Oh, oh, well, I pulled the uh, borderless foil gamble for the right person. <laughs> not a tutor, right, Soul Arena? It's not a tutor. Uh, borderless foil gamble, very, very nice. That is a one. And double your gamble, double your fun. That is a, a borderless gamble. So we have a borderless foil and a borderless. That is a double gamble. Kamal after that for a six mana value. Good old Kamal in the retro frame. And a siege gang commander after that for a five. Beautiful Savannah Lions. Venomize. Yeah, okay. Well, that was, uh, you know what? If I know one person that's going to enjoy the gambles, I think I've, uh, I think I've pulled it for the right person. Okay, so we have a 1, a 2, uh, it's a 7, 7 plus 6, that is a 13, All right? Do I have that math? I do have that math. All right, 13. Let me write that down. So after round 1, we have Gremlin in the high with an 18. We have Unholy Ram with an 11. Poe in the low, that rhymes, with 8. And Serena with a 13. And a pretty good first batch of packs. All right, Gremlin, you are up again. Oh, no! It's all right. All right, we're still good. Phew. Okay. Runaway pack. A right, little zombie token. Uh huh. Ah, oh, it's a vexing sphinx. So every time I see the retro frame <laughs> foil blue, I get excited. But that is only a vexing sphinx. That is a three. World Gorger Dragon. Holy moly. So uh, piling on the uh, mythic and the mana value. That is a six. Beautiful card there. That is a six for. Mana value. Zur the Enchanter is a four. And a Mythic Test of Endurance as another four. I know no one loves to see the Test of Endurance, but it is still still a, a Mythic nonetheless. Wild Dogs, Lull, Street Wraith. And our Commons and Uncommons. All right, so let me sleeve up the two Mythics real quick. We did get two more Mythics out of it. We've done pretty well in the Mythics thus far. Get some sleeves. All right. So we have ourselves a 6, that's a 10, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Holy moly, Gremlin. That is a 35 for you in total mana value so far. Let me throw these to the top, throw these to the bottom. Even love that exploration. All right, Ram, up again. What can you pair with your borderless foil force of will? All right. Windborn Muse, that is a four. Borderless Foil Windborn Muse, very nice. After that, a Siege Gang Commander, so there's that duplication. Uh-huh, this time in the Borderless. Royal Assassin, love me some retro frame Royal Assassin. And we conclude with a Jorail Monbuali Recluse. Ooh, retro frame fo uh, Foil Terror looks actually really good. Duress, Seer after that, mm-hmm. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, they couldn't all be bangers, right? Like, not every pack could be good. So, here we go. Ourselves a 5. Uh, let's go, f uh, that's 9, 10, 11, 14. I can do math. That seems correct. All right. Giving you a 25. It's definitely our, our low pack so far as far as value is concerned, but... I'm going to say this box is pretty darn good regardless at this point. So much good stuff. All right, Poe. Poe, who was in the low. Uh, I could not let the joke go. All right, here we go. Goblin. 
Pashalik Mons in the Retro Frame Foil. Mm hmm. That is a three. After that, a Jester's Cap. Love the art on that. That is a four. Mystical Tutor. Another Mystical Tutor. You know what? Again, duplication wise, absolutely will take that. Very, very nice. That is a one. Retro Frame Mystical Tutor. And we. <laughs> yeah, there's our third Siege Game Commander of the box. Uh, that is a five. Oh, beautiful. Foil. Retro Foil Goblin Matron. That's actually really nice. Chain Lightning, uh-huh. Mistress Factory, very good. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, not bad. So let's add these up real quick. So we have ourselves a 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Giving you a 21 and maintaining your position in the low. I'm going to avoid the joke at least one more round. Here at Sol Arena. Currently in low with a 13, but with this pack to go. Little goblin token. Arcades Sabbath. Well, I think we're officially going for the high because that's a uh, that's an that's an eight right there. Arcades Sabbath Retro Frame Foil. It's a weird inclusion in the set. <laughs> oh, Dark Depths, neat. That is a zero because it is a land, but a really really cool land at that. So Dark Depths. Oh, nice. Another mythic, Lyra Dawnbringer. So, retro frame, Lyra Dawnbringer. Saw a little uh, uptick in price after that, uh, was that Secret Lair Angels deck came out. It does have a little bit of value. Oh, and a Denison of the Deep for another eight. Holy moly. Reg that is the uh, pack foil Denison of the Deep. Uh, Seer, Quicksilver Dagger, Momentary Blink. Some sweet uncommons and commons. Let me sleeve up the two mythics real quick here. I'll, again, I'll sleeve up the rest of this stuff as I do post-battle post before I send it all out. So let's add up some mana values here because we've got uh, we've got some stuff. All right, so we've got an 8 plus an 8. That's a 16. <laughs> 16 plus uh, 5, that is a 21. Still a 21. Giving you a 34. And, uh, well, we got ourselves a ball game. No one running away with the high. And... Uh, very, very interesting. All right. After two rounds, Gremlin in the high with 35, Ram with a 25, Poe still in the low with a 21, and Solrina chasing Gremlin by just one now with a 34. Last pack. Good luck, everybody. Let's see some more fun stuff. All right. We have another Borderless Foil Mythic. It is a hunting grounds. It's not like a super value mythic, but you know what? Borderless Foil Mythics are good, and that is fun. That is a two, Hunting Grounds. And another Mythic, it's Test of Endurance, because why not? Borderless Test of Endurance, that is a four. After that, a Nantuko Shade. And after that, a Urza's Blueprints. That is helping your mana value. That is a six. That is a Pack Foil Urza's Blueprints. Draws Verdict, actually a Retro Frame Foil Uncommon. That's not bad at all. Nice Forest. All right. Let us sleeve up our mythics real quick here. Brought plenty of, plenty of sleeves for today. So we have a two, that's a uh, six, that's a 12, 13, 14. Gremlin, that gives you a 49 right now. That is a pretty high score overall, especially compared to the rest of the field at this moment. All right, Ram, at a 25. Let's see some more tutors or another force of will, huh? Let's get super greedy. Here we go. Insect. Mystic Remora. Borderless Foil Rist of Mystic Remora. That is the kind of duplication we are here for. That's awesome. It's also a one. Another Decimate. Could have done without that. All right, that's a four... Nut Collector, so we got ourselves another Mythic. It is the Nut Collector. That is a six mana value. And after that, another Nantuko Shade, this time in the Pack Foil. Ooh, beautiful Retro Frame Foil Turnabout. That's quite nice. Juggernaut, Counter Spell. And we hit our Uncommons and Commons after that. All right, so let me do some sleeving here. I am going to go ahead and sleeve up the Mystic Remora since it's a Borderless Foil as well. Just since I'm already doing it. Here we go. So we have ourselves a 6, that's a 10, 11, 12, and a 13 in total. 
Ram, you're currently sitting on a 38 total mana value. All right, so you cannot grab the high. You're hoping that Poe goes ham sandwich with some of these mana values. All right. Shivan Dragon with a six. Retroframe foil Shivan Dragon. That is, uh, as I mentioned, a six mana value. Gemstone Mine. Beautiful card. Good card. Playable card. Not super high value, but still. Playable card. That's a zero mana value. Another Zur the Enchanter. That is a four. And a, another third Nantuko Shade. Uh, another pack foil version. That is also a two. Duress. Beautiful retrofoil uh, duress. And our uncommons and commons. Okay. All right. So what do we have here? We have ourselves a two. That's a six. Still a six. That is a 12. Giving Poe a 33, which is still good for the low right now. All right. Solrina out of 34. Uh, so yeah, that secures the low for Poe, in fact. Solrina, you need, and I have not been keeping track of the Mythics offhand, but uh, I'm going to say you need at least a, probably a 15 and probably need the, the tiebreaker, so you probably need 16 mana value here. Here we go. Start off with a Xur the Enchanter Retro Frame Foil for our third Xur. Again, duplication is a known known thing for this, this product. After that, a Lotus Blossom, which is a 2. A Zira... Arian, the Bee Lady, that is a three, so I don't know that you can catch him at this point. Start uh, with an Urza's Blueprint, pack full Urza's Blueprint. I think you're gonna end up coming just a little short. Ooh, Retro Frame Foil, Spirit Link, nice high tide in the borderless. Another Tree Folk, beautiful foil planes with that lightning. And let's see here, so what do we have? We have a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, is it closer than I think? Hold on. So 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Giving you also a 49. So again, I wasn't really keep track of Mythics. Oh yeah, you do have a Mythic, but it is a... Oh, it's a 5. Okay, we have a 5. So right now, Serena with the high Mythic tiebreaker of a 5. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Time stretch. Yeah, Gremlin... Gremlin nabbed all the high mana value mythics. So Gremlin does have the tiebreaker for the high mana value mythic, giving him the high. So we know we have Poe in the low, and we have Gremlin in the high. Wow, fun battle. Really good box. Um, I, I really can't be... Would have loved to have seen some more worldly tutors and, and enlightened tutors, but can't be mad about mystical tutors, and, and there's a beautiful force of will in here. Good stuff overall. So congrats, everybody. Or congrats... Well, kind of everybody. At least everyone got a little something, right? Uh, Poe, you're with the low, as I've said many times. I'm not even trying to rhyme it at this point. Let's open your pack first. Wilds of Eldraine. Mosswood Dread Knight in the Showcase Foil. Oppression. Oh, that's actually kind of a... That's cool Enchanted Tales. Twining Twins. Talia's Messenger in the uh, Extended Art. Pack Foil Restless... Vinestock, Restless Vinestock, mm hmm. Impact Tremors, Grasp of Fate. And there's the rest of our cards there. Some cool stuff. Not, uh, not a crazy good pack, but some cool stuff. All right, Gremlin. Ye of high value, high mana value mythics. Here we go. A Farsight Ritual in the uh, Extended Art Foil. Goblin Bombardment. Mm-hmm. Finally, a Mythic. Hey, it's Will. It's a borderless Will. That's cool. Not like... I know, it's not like huge value, but I love the art on it. Can't can't be mad about that. That's cool. <laughs> Regal Bunnycorn in the extended art. Nice. And a Werefox Bodyguard as a pack foil. Rare to go with the Vamp Rites. Double Vamp Rites, in fact. Imidane Recruiter. That card is just a monster in Limited. That like, like, might be the best uncommon in the set when it comes to Limited. All right. Not bad, not bad. Well, uh, Gremlin, Unholy Ram, Poe, and Solrina, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for participating. That is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and uh, if you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And by all means, drop me some comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. And uh, be well.